Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Iano TV. And today, we're going to review the Gundam Farrak from the Gundam series, Witch from Mercury. So before we start guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe here on my channel. It's Iano TV. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell that you can see on this video below. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Have a nice one. And here we are, we've got the Gundam Farrak from the Witch from Mercury series. So as we can see here guys, we have a nice straight build kit from the Witch from Mercury line. And this is what it looks like without the backpack. So at first, I thought this part of the backpack is the shoulder armor, but instead, this is the shoulder armor of the Gundam Farrak. So as we can see that uh, this, or basically, this, he doesn't have any shoulder armor on it. So this is a plain frame from the Gundam Farrak. Or this is a joint connecting the torso and the arms from the Gundam Farrak. So for the articulation of the Gundam Farrak, first we've got some ball joint here on its head connecting to the neck. So we have it right here. This is the ball joint like that we can move it from the side to side forward and backward we have a rotation movement from up to that extent only since as you can see this is quite um, large and everything is colliding on the scene going here to its on this part next we have a connecting ball joint here from the arms connecting here on the torso and this is a C clip so we don't have any PC parts using on this uh, line of Gundam so we have a rotation movement here like that it can move up to that extent going downward we have a circular movement here on the upper part of the arms a single jointed elbow we have a ball joint for the manipulators same goes on the other side of the hands then we have a nice up crunch on this kit going backward we have a rotation on the torso connecting to the waist From the waist, we have a slight movement here from the back. And we don't have any movement here, so this is a steady back skirt. For the kicks, we have... Oops! oops. So we have here a movement up to that extent, so that was very nice. Backward, up to that extent, since as you can see, we have a clashing part here from the tie and from this back skirt. You can do the splits like that. So I think it can transform if you want to custom it. You can make a flight mode out of this. We have a single jointed knees. On the lower part of the leg we have a movement here so like that there's a joint connecting here and we have another movement on this part so this is the back area of the feet we have this movement like that from the part here from here on the feet we have here a movement here up to that extent so we can see they can do that formation same goes on the other side of the legs of the Gundam Farrak so for the accessories and weapons included to this kit so first we have here the backpack of the Gundam Farrak just like what I say before that I thought this was a shoulder armor for the Gundam Farrak but instead this was a backpack and if you just forward this 
part of the backpack, you will be having a nice shoulder backpack of the Gundam Ferrak. So we have some nice articulation on this kit here or on the backpack. So we've got some movements from here. And we have a turning part here from its thrusters. We've got some opening part here above. And we can slot it back here or put it back here. And then we have some movements or we have a peg here connecting here on the hole. We've got some movement here and a swivel part from right here. Next, we have the beam saber effects. So this is a standard uh, part from the Gundams or some of the mobile suits that we have from the previous review. So we have some yellow green beam effect parts. Next, we have a pair of beam saber handles, which we can attach here. Actually, uh, the other part of or the other beam saber was in here. So in order to attach this one, as you can see, we have this peg right here and we have a hole on here or underneath the forearms of the then the fire can just push it in like that and close it like that. So the other one is hiding here on the other right or in hiding here on the left part of the Gandafarak. Next we have here the long beam rifle or I should say sniper rifle. So this is one big sniper rifle that which stands the same as the Gundam Farak, so this is tall as this kit. Next, we have a pair of holding hand. So I didn't remove on this one because it would be a hassle for me to remove the holding hand. And next, we've got some eight pieces, or I should say four pieces of this bits of the Gundam Farak. So each of them are split into two if you needed to use this bits. So it would be like that if you split it in half like that. And if you don't want to use it anymore, just put it in like that. Grab your Gundam Farak and on this part, as you can see, there are two uh, shape or what I should say uh, this shape here just put it here inside like that and another one right here so in case you need to uh, get this one just push down this part here and it would be removing easy as that no need to use any uh, and the cutter just to remove this part just push this part and then we, we will be going to get this one already for size comparison we have the anti grade rx 782 the google de lanza and the aerial gundam And that's it for review for today. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoy my review for the Gundam Farak. So for more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe here on my channel. It's Yanang TV. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell that you can see on this video below. So thank you for watching guys. And have a great day. Goodbye.